Hello everyone, this is Evan Cello. Um, I know a lot of people have been having problems with pet returns and the issue where they can't get really a return. But I want to show y'all something which I could do to help alleviate the problem. At least get y'all 20 yards down the field. You know, um, so what you do is, yeah, this play is in the middle of the play. It's in the middle of the play when it starts off. Uh, you take the end, not the lineman, but one of the ends that are standing up. And you move them about 20 yards if you can before the ball is hiked. And you basically wait one second after the ball is hiked, after you still bring them down towards you. And then you let go. You let them, well, direct them to the way you want them, where you want to run the ball to. And then, uh, once the ball, you get the ball, of course, you, you're going to let go of that person. So, basically, he's right there. Actually, matter of fact, let me show you from his perspective what happens. Alright. Basically, the guy, boom. He blocks him, blocks two people. And you see the guy right there, he's running the ball, and he's gone to the house. So basically, you want him on the side where you want to run the ball. Because what you're going to do is he's going to run through. he got to make missing people first. And then you basically run to the side you want him to block on. See this block right here? Boom. And then he blocks down there. So let me show you the perspective of the, <clears throat> the returner. Ah, come on. No. Uh, I got lost, sorry. It's kind of disorientating. Okay, there it is. Alright, he runs. He misses people. This is a guy I drafted. This, I'm in my third year of my franchise. And boom, he runs. Let me show you from another perspective real quick. I know it's kind of quick. Uh, I'm not trying to be too long with this. But, um... Catches the ball. He has the speed to make pass. Then he just goes to the right. It's kind of like NCAA, a little bit with the the movements, which I notice a lot. Um, Cause you could do the same exact thing in NCAA, except the block, the pump blocking in there is a whole lot better. And so basically, you run a little bit. You just try to go behind the blocks and just run like that. And like I said, you get that one guy, that one end or whatever. Like I choose the um, the guy that was on the left side. I choose him and move and try to run him back as far as possible on the side I want, want to run on. And as soon as I catch the ball, he lets go. He goes, finds somebody to block, block somebody else, then block somebody else, and my and my guys all into the end zone. That's about it. I mean, it should help a little bit. I mean, it at least gets you at least 10 yards, 10 to 15 yards, maybe 20 yards extra down the field um, by doing that. I mean, you know you shouldn't have to do that, but, hey, in this game, you got to do something to get some yards because the game coming down close, you need field position. Hey, you got to do this. All right, just a little help on Madden, Madden 10. Um, shoot, I don't know. Somebody else probably got something like this post up on their site. But in case they don't, you know what I'm saying, or you check my site out first, you see me here. Evan Cello, signing out on Pumpkin Terms. One.